I'm one of those who rinses mushrooms under the tap and pats them dry. You can read about this in the food lab by Candy Lopez if you're interested. This looks like a lot of mushrooms, but they'll be all cooked down. I will infuse some garlic in the oil, so start with a low heat. Garlic cooked in high heat will give a bitter taste. And set the heat to high. Wait a bit for the pan to be heated properly. Mushrooms have lots of water, so cook them on high heat to evaporate the water. Spread out and make one layer. To efficiently dry out the water quickly, I cook them in two batches. Salt will not just make the mushrooms taste better, but will help them draw out moisture quickly. We will do the same. Infuse garlic, change to a high heat, chest, and mushrooms in. Trim off the thick parts of the stem so that the cabbage leaves cook evenly and it's easy to wrap up the filling. Because the larger leaves benefit from wrapping, I'm trying to get the whole leaf. But you can overlap small pieces, so don't worry too much if you cannot. And certainly, outer leaves are better to use for this cabbage cannelloni. Soak the water liberally first like you do when cooking pasta and chuck the cabbage in. Cook for around 15 minutes till the leaves become totally soft. If you don't cook enough thinking of al dente pasta, you will struggle with cutting the cabbages up on your plate. Put them on a clean kitchen towel and cook in batches. It's important to dry the cabbages completely after cooking. If you are a bit pushed for time, you can use passata. Just reduce it down a little bit. You don't need much onion and carrot. Finely dice them, you can even use a food processor. So tad till translucent. Add some water if it's too dry. We want a thick tomato sauce here because cabbage will release a little bit of moisture as cooking. Set your oven at 180 degrees Celsius. Now the mushrooms have cooled down. Save one third of them in another bowl. Add the one third mushrooms back into the mushroom mixture. Top 
chop some parsley to add to the mushroom sauce. I don't think you need a pipe for this. You can make a cylinder shape with your spoon. Trim unnecessary bits of the cabbage and roll. We are almost done. After baking for 15 minutes, under the broiler, bake 5 more minutes to crisp up the cheese. This will give a great crunchiness to the dish. So please don't skip this ingredient. Sprinkle on the almonds in the finer step. 